Welcome guys to Let's Play Minecraft Together Season 3 Which I think they ended up changing the name to T Let's Play Minecraft T uh, Which is basically Season 3 I'm not familiar with the T part But it kind of makes sense since we are in Suma's uh, server um, I believe there's 10 people online right now And I don't recognize a lot of the names guys But we do recognize uh, Dro Dragon. I, I can't remember the name And on one of the episodes on the last season She corrected me But to be honest I can't remember It's been I think well over a year since I last played so I apologize if I'm pronouncing the name uh, we also got Kirk I do remember Kirk and I do remember Cat the Dragon as well as Spy so there's some uh, familiar faces in the crowd but yeah it seems like there's uh, quite a bit of new people but here we are guys in the new server and I'm pretty excited and uh, if you guys can tell I do have a different skin on and I might pronounce this wrong but don't judge me it's the Akatsuki clan uniform so yeah we ended up joining the Akatsuki guys if you guys are not familiar with Naruto I recommend you guys go watch that show that's got to be my, one of my favorite I, I'm gonna say it it's my favorite anime show ever so it, that says a lot or at least for me you know I'm really invested into that show um, I'm almost finished I finished all of Naruto the the original one I'm almost done with Shippuden which uh, there's quite a bit of episodes uh, but I'm almost done with it and I kind of wanted to do that in Minecraft I kind of wanted to do like that style right like the village and and the buildings and stuff like that so that's why we have the Akatsuki uh, suit on just cuz uh, I don't know it's gonna give us a little bit more into the actual uh, place so I'm really excited about starting this new journey guys I did actually join the server uh yesterday i believe um just to make sure that i had everything working i was gonna have all the mods uh that i needed you know like optifine and just some of the other mods i do have some on i wonder if we could just go ahead and check these out really quick or maybe we're not able to i am gonna have to get familiar with some of the mods that i do have installed uh one of them would be the replay mod which one that I haven't used since season two was it season two or season Season one it's been a while it has to be season two because i remember using it so yeah it's been well over a year so i had to reinstall that i had to reinstall optifabric and stuff like that optifine have all those things ready uh there's a few other ones that i do have like limatica schematica and stuff like that but i don't remember how to use those and i imagine now that we're playing in 18 uh 1.18.1 i'm pretty sure that they're gonna have like some updates to it that i'm gonna have to remember but I uh, try to you know just stick to those uh, there's not too many mods that you're able to use the server has a list of all the different ones that they allow um, everybody to use um, and they don't help you at all in the game it's just mostly uh, just to make it easier on client side uh, for example to to do like videos and stuff like that we have the replay mod and stuff like that but there's nothing that enhances the actual game which gives us like an advantage so there's no like uh, diamond duplication and stuff like that but uh yeah guys so uh, let's go around and explore it seems we're in the mason like i mentioned before i haven't moved out of this spot uh so everything that we're gonna find or encounter is all for the first time so this is where we ended up spawning and it says welcome to let's play minecraft t good to see you so we walk in here we got players trading chest i'm not sure what this is i'm not gonna mess with it usually they have like an area for uh beginners where they could grab some you know simple tools and some food really quick that way they could get started uh so better map on the west side of the hill so whoa what is this uh, so we got first. Oh, I remember we had a bunch of these. So crystal sea supply. Uh, the start of a new sign city empire so if you guys don't remember on the last season we made like I don't know how high uh, just a whole tower of signs and everybody was riding on them which uh, was pretty funny uh, we were able to do that ourselves um, but I guess this is just more to kind of and free rockets clam co shop 
uh, records and all things color records and all things colors and free rockets uh, so yeah so I guess this is just some of the areas like some advertising uh, for different places uh, I guess this is just so if you could want want to put your own sign and it might be a little bit laggy I don't know what they got going on here um, I'm a little bit late as you guys can tell people have done quite a bit already I believe I'm three months late or two months late um, I just didn't get a chance to, to join I did want to join but it just didn't work out for me but uh, here we have the starter area starter kits and goodies for free so we got a little campfire and what is this area right here so starter kits for early gamer lovers starter kits for fast trackers oh so let's check this out guys so yeah so this is another mod that i added it's kind of like a i forgot what it was called but it was a shulker HUD or shulker view or something like that where we could just uh, look into the shulker without having to take it out and open it so it seems we got some of the basics some ender pearls some blocks uh some iron we got some armor some basic tools and yeah a little bit of everything so let's check out what the other ones have so here it seems like we got a bunch of uh, food that way you guys could get started like for farmers uh i guess this is just the main overall uh this one has a bunch of food as well but it doesn't have some of the other materials and this one as well so let's check out these over here oh these are a little bit more advanced okay so i didn't get what they were saying i didn't know why they were different but this one is if you want to start it yourself and the other one is if you just want to just jump into it right and already have uh the, everything ready and that way you can, you can just jump into building or whatever you have to do um it seems we got some more in the back but i guess they're nothing uh yeah so fast trackers that's what i meant um but i don't want to do that guys i kind of want to just get started from the beginning kind of get you know the whole feel of playing minecraft again uh so we're gonna go ahead and get one of these uh i don't know which one to get though so i think we're gonna end up going with the first one after looking at all of them i think we're just gonna go ahead and use this one uh coupons for gear of all sorts redeem at e210 so east 210 i imagine that is all right, so we're just going to go ahead and get one just because we're not familiar with what it is. Uh, but might as well just in case we do come to it. And uh, over here on the left side, donations for starter gear. There's nothing there. Uh, Super COD, Cave Edition, feel free to keep the shulkers. Oh, so we just got nothing but fish. So some cooked cod. And don't mind if I do. So I want to get um let's go ahead and get what color should we get guys let's go ahead and get the blue one um that's gonna be our goodie box since it's closer to the diamond color uh so thank you for whoever did that we got some more food up here might as well that way we don't open the other one let's go ahead and do that and it seems like it auto refills we got some ender pearls i do want to get a stack of those and some horse equipment which is just some gold, uh, gold horse um armor which uh, i don't mind so thank you guys and uh yeah let's get it started guys we don't have anything in there and uh yeah so let's just explore i think that's basically what we're gonna do in this episode uh we're just gonna go around and see what's around and then on the next one uh we could go and explore and find like the place where we want to start building and stuff like that and and have our base um but you know what i think we're actually gonna make a base here at starter spawn uh since we are gonna link it to our main base later on uh that's something that they do here in let's play minecraft together there's like a little portal that you can make which links uh the right here to any anywhere around the world so i'm pretty excited about that another thing that i wanted to mention is that they do have a few resettable dimensions is that yeah i believe that somebody down there either that or an armor stand that's named uh but here we have the map so this is facing north and i believe they do have they do they they have them up at the top uh just to kind of give us a, an idea so that's south that's north so it's basically facing uh the correct way and uh this is actually quite a large mesa um so oh miss clementine she's still playing and we got trent uh i haven't seen him in so long and there's a talking glorf and fawn she's here as well oh uh, guys this is bringing back so many memories uh mr vinyl i believe he was on the last season as well 
Um, I'm not familiar with uh, Mike and Bash. Okay, so this is Draw Dragon. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Uh, Sherpa, Sherpa, I haven't seen you so long, buddy, as well as Garth. Garth, I think it's been like two years since I last seen him. Um, he wasn't playing too much at the end of the last season. But uh, there's actually quite a few people. But So this is where we at. I believe, no, is this the area? Okay, there we are right there. That's the Emerald Block. Um, so I wonder what that is. That's actually quite a big hole. So I'm not sure what that is. Uh, it seems like we got a bunch of people over here, but I kind of want to head over here and kind of be next to uh, the old peeps. I miss these guys, so, you know, if I get to see them, hopefully, um, it depends what time they play uh, and stuff like that. But I kind of want to build around them, so I might build here. Um, either there or maybe behind them. So it seems like there's another road going that way. Maybe I could build behind a talk and glorf. Let's check this out. So it seems like it's over here on this general area. But before we go over there, let's look at the sign right here. Never forget 136.44, the tree or lies. Hmm, I'm not familiar. I don't know what that, what? What is that? That seems like an egg. Like two eggs. Okay, these are new guys. I've never seen them before. A, Z. So I wonder if it's A and Z. But it seems like that's their vase right there. We got rocks. Oh, that might be a shop actually. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. I don't think I've seen a build. See, you guys can see the portal right there. It might be glitching through the, the building. Uh, but that's basically just a block portal that will link to wherever their base is. Um, I'm not sure who lives there. Wow, yeah, guys. We need to step up our game into building. As you guys can tell, uh, yeah, we we have a lot of inspiration uh, for this season, like always, right? So, wow, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, look at this one. Some old school one. But, um, yeah, so let's just go ahead. Oh, that one's really cool as well. I really like the blocks. There's so many blocks going on right there. We got some dead coral, some cobblestone, uh, and their size, some just regular stone. We got a little bit of everything. Stone bricks, mossy, crack. Wow, there's a little bit of everything down there. Uh, but yeah, let's head over there to that area and see what we could find. All right, so I already lost my bearings. I'm, I'm completely lost already. And all I did was walk 20 steps. So let's go ahead and do this again. So this is north so it has to be so let's just head this way and we'll come across it so this has to be glorfs over there that does kind of look like their their build style uh with this uh this right here okay so this is the path that we're seeing that was kind of at an angle and that's gonna be some one else so let's just head over here what is this is this like a canyon or something whoa oh that goes all the way to bedrock guys we are at y98 you guys got to remember that goes down to like negative 58 or something like that. I can't remember how uh, low that goes. And I need to be careful because if we do fall, that's it for us. Uh, we got no armor. So I need to go into that shulker that we ended up getting and uh, get some of the armor. But uh, I kind of want to see what's around us that way. Oh, this is clam. Uh, we sell slime, kelp, wool, candles, records, books, dye, flowers, and concrete. And we got a little face right there. So they're doing some uh, map art oh this reminds me of cub from season what was it five the yeah where he was working on kind of like the the redlands i i can't remember what it was called but so we have clam there and it seems like they're all based off this road right here uh oh, trench efficiency five one diamond mending one diamond so it seems like trans back to selling some items is this his <laughs> Oh, this is like a ship. This reminds me of like Star Wars. I'm not familiar with Star Wars, by the way, guys. But this looks like a Star Wars themed. So this will take us to his base. I don't want to go there just yet. Um, I just want to explore a little bit more around town. 
And if you guys are wondering about the texture pack, uh, this is a texture pack that the server um, puts. So this is not something that I added. Um, I do have some things, for example, crops. Um, is there any crops around? Um, it changes the way they look. They make them 3D, and I kind of want to check that out because I don't know if it's working or not. Uh, but there's a few add-ons that I did add, and and we'll see later on if they actually worked or if they get overridden by the server uh, texture pack resource pack that they have. So we have Fawn here. I remember her as well. Oh, we got Spy. Hello, Spy. How's it going, buddy? It's been so long. Is that his base down here? We have shortcut to power tour store. The backside of water resupply. So I think he was at the store right here. Wow, it's really cool, guys. I'm so excited. Um, I kind of want to know where where Glorf and Atok are. So it seems like their house might come down here yeah that that looks like them they're they're just amazing uh players uh so we come in here whoa what is that is there like a face on the other side a home woolly the mid yes that's woolly i forgot about him oh man yeah guys they're the funnest players ever i've ever met in a server or just in general uh, they're really fun. They like uh, coming up with like uh, different things to do. Um, they got a story. They have characters that they added. So overall, um, it's really fun playing with them. But let's see if we could get up there because it seems like uh, that's about it here. I love that building. I don't know why. I love that building. I love those colors, guys. And it's and that's kind of like the theme that we're gonna be aiming for. Um, not medieval, cause that kind of brings back like a medieval. So we're gonna have to use uh, some different colors, different blocks in order to kind of get the the village from Naruto. If you guys haven't seen it, just look it up. Um, it's called the Hidden Leaf Village. Uh, you guys will get a better idea. So a talk and Glorf. We got some sponges, pebbles, past worth one diamond and punch pebbles. Oh, home, Glorfender, spawn, chibi. So here they have their chibi again. Okay, let's see if we can sleep since uh, we have somebody sleeping. Kirk? All right, now that we have our shulker out, we might as well get some of our tools out. Let's just get some of these items here and kind of fix my uh, everything. So it seems we only got these right here. Let's check out the enchantments. We got Death Strider, Protection 3, and we have Cursor Binding and Curse of Vanishing, uh, Fire Protection 4, and Unbreaking 3. Uh-oh, we're gonna have to be careful, guys. We can't die. Uh, we do got an Unbreaking 2 bow, so that's gonna come in handy. Uh, we're gonna have to get Infinity for that, because 8 arrows, that's only gonna last us uh, just a small amount of time. We got an Efficiency 2 pick, uh, but it's everything that we need, guys. And look at that, we're getting all the advancements. Uh, that way you guys can know that that I wasn't lying about it being the first time. Um, I do want some blocks on me. I do want the shield on me. Uh, the iron as well, just in case we do need it. And the rest of the stuff, some scaffolding as well. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, we could always get these items later on. And let's just go ahead and break this. There we go. Uh, I do want the food and we're pretty much set i don't think we need the ball front but let's just go ahead and do that and just put some of the armor on even though we're covering but once we get some diamonds we'll probably just put on some diamond boots and a helmet or just i don't know i kind of don't want to use armor i don't want to focus on armor this season uh too much because it kind of takes away from playing the game you know um it's better when uh you tend to kind of die and so you're you're a little bit more scared about doing stuff so it changes the whole uh gameplay of the game overall if you don't have too much armor on you so we have another store it seems like they're selling okay some what is that oh so we got a bunch of moss nine diamond blocks so they got all the different uh, uh things right here uh, i don't know if this is just a store this is somebody's base uh we do got a sheep here but i don't want to kill it just in case it belongs to anybody and it just managed to get away uh but all right so let's look a little bit into this area i kind of want to build here but i don't want to get in the way of uh a talk and glory but i kind of want to build right here 
So, I wonder who this belongs to. It seems like there's a chest here on the side. Oh, Mr. Vinyl56. Is he online? Oh, he's not. Alright, so I wonder. I mean, because you're only able to choose... Uh, I forgot how much it was. I need to go back into the uh, Discord in order to, to look at, you know... Um, how big we could do our starter base or our section uh, but i kind of want to build here next to glorf so i'm noticing that they got this area marked off like a circle so i wonder if that's just gonna be like the spawn area um i don't know if they got any plans they usually do look at that that's actually a really cool place to build right on the side of the cliff um yeah so i'm gonna start building here and hopefully you know this is a good area uh and i'm just gonna put my name down and then have people contact me on discord or something if i'm not allowed to uh but i don't see anybody else here so this area is not really marked off and i kind of want to uh build next to these um some of my old peeps look at that portal that looks like a tire from far away that's so cool we're gonna have to do get creative with our portals as well and and not you know stick to the same thing over and over uh we got maxed out it seems like this is a nigloo all right so now we start heading down so this is another good spot but i don't know i kind of like the other one I feel like this one's a little bit further away. Uh, so the closer that we get to spawn, uh, the better. Uh, so I kind of like where we were. Because, I mean, we could always build that way. But I kind of like it over there. So let's see if we could go over there. All right, so we're going to be off the trail right away. And I don't want to, like, destroy this in order to make a way up there. Uh, so I'm just not gonna do that and then I'll just have like a fake entrance and then later on once you know I ask a, a permission uh, then I'll figure out if I'm able to you know like kind of break some of these blocks in order to make my my path leading up to my house um, but for this one I think we're gonna make it down here around maybe let's keep it at this level that's that way we could complement each other and it doesn't look too off but it seems they're gonna be a little bit lower so i kind of want to do roughly around the same level and i'm just gonna go ahead and destroy some of these blocks i will you know like fix this area if they want me to um but as far as i know i believe because i did read some of the rules um i believe it's just a matter of just choosing and like i said i mentioned before there's only like a radius that you're able to uh to build on uh so i'm just gonna go ahead and just choose this spot right here and there we have it guys that's as much as we were able to do before running out of our iron pick so uh, yeah efficiency too we, we need a uh i'm breaking on that but yeah we were able to do that much i did put my sign there with my name and i was looking back because i wanted to make sure that i wasn't going to be like in their way and it seems like yeah they're kind of building up and down and uh, there's actually a good gap in between us uh, so hopefully they don't mind as well with was that mr vinyl hopefully that's who it was uh but i think this is gonna be a good area for our house uh so now i'm coming over here to the spawn area just in case we're able to see an anvil that i might be able to use really quick that way we could repair our pick but the thing is that i don't remember if we need xp for that okay here we have one so are we able to we actually we need iron normal iron and uh yeah we're getting just a bunch of uh advancements over here due to that but let's go ahead and are we oh we do need it all right guys so unfortunately um i don't know i think we're gonna have to go get some resources some diamonds and stuff like that in order uh, to keep using that the thing is that by now i'm pretty sure they do have an iron farm uh, so i might be able to get away with just using an iron farm uh, but in order to do that i'm gonna have to go around and see if there's like any specific areas for stuff like that for farms like if there's any public farms or anything like that um so i think it would be handy to look over at the map again so it seems like there's no public farms but i think they might have uh, some cords to 
the public forum on Discord? I'm not sure. But yeah, we're in dire need of some stuff. But at the same time, guys, we need to look for the resettable dimensions. Because that's where we're going to be able to get some of our stuff. Yeah, because uh, they don't want us to really uh, mine some resources here in the overworld. We kind of have to do that um, out in the different dimensions. But to be honest, I have no clue where they are. Are they in here? Hopefully, I don't regret going in here so soon. Oh, we're at top of the nether. Private farms, a talk, spooky, and glorf. All right, so this is just for the top of the nether. All right, so after looking on this board for a while, I wasn't able to find uh, like cords to any public farms. Uh, there's one for the skelly farm and that's about it i didn't see like no iron farms or anything like that so i guess i don't know what to do i don't know where to go i guess i'm gonna have to do some exploring in order to find uh some of these resettable dimensions all right guys i found them finally <laughs> finally so this is where we were we were up there at that nether a portal and there was just this pathway so i'm glad i kind of went around just in case there was a hole in the ground and it seems like there is all right so we have let's just set our spawn uh, we have a resettable mining dimension we have a resettable nether and a resettable and uh, map dimensions uh, do not remove all maps map dimensions do not remove all maps uh, i don't know what that one's about uh, I don't know where this goes, uh, but here we have recipe challenges or adventures mode games that give recipes as rewards. Uh, so rep uh, recipe one, uh, gilded blackstone. So they had something similar last season. Uh, Ega, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, we got the web shulker and the construct. Oh, what is that? If you did not have the recipe, still ask a mod. If you did them last season, you do not need to do them this season. Ooh, I don't remember how many I do, but I think the, the construct, it means that if you have, for example, stairs, you're able to uh, revert them back to planks and stuff like that. Um, I imagine that's what that is. So let's just kind of be nosy and look in there. Uh... Okay, so this is another thing that um, I added, kind of like a texture pack where it adds like random rocks here and there. It's just to add a little bit more uh, character. Let's say goodnight to cease for it. Uh, they left before we were able to do so, but we want to go to the resettable mining dimension. So let's go in and uh, we almost fell. Am I gonna make the drop or how do I get that? The bit is so complicated for us noobs or starters. I guess we can just jump in the water, right? All right, so it is nighttime. Let me see if I can sleep. I don't want no mobs coming after me. All right, so here we have it. So it seems we're right here at the moment. So it seems like I went ahead over. So my little guy doesn't move. So I kind of want to head over to that area. I don't know where I'm at. Uh, public mine diamonds at negative 58. Sorry, this blew up by accident, but we fixed it. AC. Oh no, guys, I don't know what direction uh, to go for public use. Take what you need. Donations accepted. Oh, all right. So I don't think we okay. I might use the wood. No, we, I think we got enough wood for now. Um, yeah, I don't think we need anything from here. Uh, so this is the other thing that I mentioned, the other resource pack that I added uh, is here for the actual um, crops and stuff like that. Yes, you see, uh, they look a little bit different. They're in 3D. They're not 2D, which I was actually pretty excited about. So uh, here we're going to be able to get some of these items, but I'm not going to get them right now because I don't want to fill my inventory. Uh, so at the moment, that's not what I want. So let's come back here and look at where we're at. So we're right here, right? Um, so if we had, so if we had it this way, is there going to be like a little river? If there's a little river over here, then that means that that's where we at. 
Oh, our first mob. We got a creeper. Oops. Yeah, guys. I don't know when they updated the map, so that might be a reason. But we need to look at look for the mesa because it seems like that's where we want to head. But if the water is over here, that means that this is where we are, right? So we need to head that away. First iron, I see iron. All right, so now we need to go ahead and I also got some wood. Um, we need to make our first ever crafting table. Here we go and get our first axe. Oh yeah, we do have iron. Okay, so it's not going to be that bad. I forgot that we did have iron on us. So let's go ahead and at least do that. And uh, uh, we need... Yeah, we need fortune in order to get a bunch more. But, uh, oh, I thought I heard a creeper for a second. Uh, but yeah, I think the maps haven't been updated in a while, so it looks way different than it is on there. And then since it also resets, I don't know, like, you know, how much it changes. Because I remember on the last season, every time it reset, it changed, like, the area. So, yeah, I need a, I don't know, I don't know if I could trust that map at the moment. I think a couple stacks should be good. Yeah, I think that's just fine. And look at our inventory, guys. It's a mess. Um, so I do want to get our shield up uh, on us. That way, just in case we do come into an issue, uh, we could just go ahead and protect ourselves. And let's just keep on heading that way. Tell me why this looked like lava. This so <laughs> looked like lava. I was like, whoa, a giant uh, lava pool. But nope, that's just terracotta. And we made it back to the beginning, guys. I went around. I didn't see anything. I just saw nothing but ocean. Uh, so I decided to just go ahead and get some diamonds and kind of just get it started, right? Uh, so uh, let's just you know set our spawn might as well go to sleep and let's just make our way down there also need to fix our inventory since it's it's a mess uh copper level so people just have uh some signs for copper and just different resources i guess oh there's a bunch of materials here guys this is iron level so i do need iron but I think we'll find iron once we're looking for diamonds and then lapis it's pretty cool that they have different levels for stuff like that i didn't know that that was a thing but it kind of makes sense if it generates more at certain levels but no we're going why is there glass here uh ra <laughs> random cave which is glass <laughs> i guess that probably that's the only materials they did have on them so just a random here and diamond and redstone level so yeah i'm pretty sure this has been mined quite a bit uh in all directions can we go the opposite way though yep someone's already thought of that oh man guys look what i just went past so i haven't been digging for too long is basically uh if you guys see all those torches back there that's where it stopped and i just kept digging and after an hour uh only like what 30 blocks <laughs> it took me an hour just because it's so slow to dig uh in these right here which is the cobbled these uh deeps deep slate yeah that right there but yeah so i don't know how i went past this i am watching hermitcraft so maybe that's why i was just focused on that but here we have our first diamonds and it seems like we got more than just oh we got five diamonds all right guys beautiful beautiful diamonds finally we also got that advancement can we get one more oh no all right so not bad guys our first diamond i believe that's gonna be enough for our first pick since this one's about to break and it's just gonna help us get more diamonds uh so once this one breaks then let's see how many diamonds we could get off a diamond pickaxe 
kind of had of a smart idea you guys could say it's smart or you guys could say it's a dub but i ended up coming back before i continued too much and since we do have two diamonds maybe we're gonna be able to buy another pickaxe i don't know like if people are trading already there's a good chance that we could buy a pick and or at least have them breaking on our on our um pickaxe as well as efficiency i think that would be kind of smart to do so now let's uh go ahead and look at all these signs and see what we could buy or where we could find it all right so there's a couple or a few stores that i want to check out so one of them is this one right here so special at e 180 blaze ross one diamond for 32 and we also get three bucks of our choice so that means that for one diamond not only do we get blaze rods but we also get three bucks so that would come in handy another one is for iron blocks where do we have that Oh, this one as well adds books. Just turn around and follow the big book sign. I have no clue where the big book sign is. Yeah, I don't know, but that's another one that we could check out just in case he has any deals on books. And the other one was down here. So we got iron blocks, one stack for one diamond. Iron blocks, guys so that's actually a lot of blocks so that's one of the ones we want to check out but for the first one i want to go up here to where was it at e180 so we're gonna have to look for the other one but now that i remember there was another one that was down here where they do mention a uh, full enchanted items oh where was that at right here maxed out gear elytra totems enchanted books so 210 so we want to go to 210 and 180 e210 and 180 all right so here we are at 180 is that right here uh kirk e180 it has to be here right so this is kirk's place spawn base and store i see the best ice and books around so let's check this area out uh we have high power books downstairs special two books for one diamond uh he has his smell box so we got packed ice is that a polar bear? oh no that's a sheep uh we got blue ice as well so it seems like he has the stuff we're looking for uh down here oh yeah there's actually quite a bit of items so blaze rods one diamond for 32 plus three books of your choice okay so he does have some in stock pay here please special two books for one diamond huh so multiple enchant books he has one for fortune three which doesn't make sense um he has protection four protection three all right so we're gonna have to waste our items guys but i don't know all right so before we do anything before we buy any items first let's go and check out the other stores just in case we could get a better deal but to be honest i think that this is where we're gonna end up spending our two diamond all right so i believe this is the maxed out one i could be wrong but this is where we could get a bunch of books and stuff like that um but I don't think we need this. Oh. Loyalty. Curse of Vanishing. Curse of Binding. So free totems. We got Mending. What is this for? So. Wow. Okay. Uh, so I can tell that that's Bose. Um, this is Trident. And I can't really get one of these or open one of them, but I'm too scared to do so. I don't know if it's going to blow up. Uh, we got Elytra's, guys, for five diamonds, which is not bad. Um, we got some of these, and then we just got, I believe, mending books and stuff like that. All these at the top are books, so he doesn't have any tools. So we might have to skip on this one for now. So uh, let's move on. Now we're going to 280. So it might be one of these down here. All right, so here we are at E280, and I believe it's this one. Home, spawn base. I don't want to budge into people's stuff, but uh, yeah, so it seems like they are selling. He's selling beacons, or they are? 48 diamonds, he doesn't have any more, uh, but he is selling some other materials. One diamond per three stacks, and that's a copper deep slate. 
clearance one diamond for four stacks oh these are cool and then amethyst blocks white concrete powder so unfortunately he does not have anything that we need but i don't know where this e280 store is it might be this one let's check this one now there's no sign on this one uh but i'm sure that we should find something if we look around okay we made it in here and he is selling a bunch of materials basalt crimson obsidian dirt soul sand man okay so there's nothing there we got mob drop shulker uh okay so how much are you selling the items for he doesn't have to he doesn't seem to have a price Food, crops, ice baby, flowers, random, and stuff, heads, armor. So I wonder if this is just his. Uh, this might just be his storage. That's why he doesn't have any prices. Let's go up here. Yeah, I think this is just his storage, guys. I'm over here snooping on his items. And for some reason, I thought I was going to activate an Elytra. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my bad. Let's not forget my bed. Let's just pretend none of that happened. All right, so I don't know where this last door is, guys. So I'm just going to move on and go back. I might have gone the wrong way, but I kind of remember it saying that it was east. So I don't know about that. All right, so I think this is the one that we were looking for, which is the one that we did go to. So why was I thinking i have no clue guys there might have been another store that i saw and i might have gotten confused it was probably this one i have no clue but that's not the one we're looking for so now the next one that i want to check out is the one with the iron blocks right here so it's north 160 which is over in this direction and we got i believe 30 minutes we just got a notification saying that they're gonna restart the server so i better hurry up all right so here we are guys i believe this is the store we have home of the silly mods we have thor's mailbox and we got spokies we got spoky here so uh yeah this seems to be a store so we got shulker shells free what they have to have a farm there's some sort of farm for them to be giving these out so could i just take them it does say free oh yeah i'll just take 64 for now i don't know if we'll need more i mean we could always come back and i'll sure leave a tip later on when i can but we got iron blocks one diamond for 64 yeah we're gonna need those for sure one diamond per stack of wool um i think for wool we're pretty much good at the moment we got gunpowder and potions so they got a bunch of wool. They got a little bit of everything over here in this area. Pretty cool. Spokies and Thor service corner. Mob moving services. What is this over here? We got a villager helper service. I'm not sure what that's about, but thank you, Spokie and Thor. I appreciate it. I'll be sure to come back and tip you guys. Uh, where am I? Can I get away? Am I going to be able to get away? Okay, there we go. Um, so I did explore some of these other stores just because I thought it was one of those. I forgot the cords, if I'm honest, but that's the one that we needed. So now let's go back and purchase and get some more books. We are going to need, obviously, we, we get 32. This is basically what we're buying off the bat. Uh, so I need a shulker in order to put some more items just some more items that i ended up getting and what else can we put in there that we might not need just that there and we'll put that as well all right so now to get the rest of the items so if i'm correct three bonus books of your choice all right so three bonus books guys so for sure 
so multi enchants we got fortune three so i kind of need it in order if we find more diamonds obviously that's going to come in handy uh we also so we got two more books that we're able to get we got fire aspect multi shot infinity mending so for sure we need mending that way we can repair it and we need on um, breaking i think in breaking is a little bit better than efficiency so we got on um, breaking mending and fortune three yeah we're gonna have to wait since we did buy a stack of iron blocks but the thing is are we gonna need them anymore since we're gonna be able to get them more diamonds later on oh no all right so i don't know what to do should i return the iron blocks all right, I feel bad, guys, especially since we did get a bunch of shulkers from them. But I think I'm going to return the iron blocks and I'll come back and pay these guys. So we're going to get our other items. So now we could get three more books. So for sure, we need efficiency. Where do we have efficiency? Right here. And then we also are going to need... Should we get infinity? uh fire aspect the thing is protection three protection four i don't know what to get what else to get uh we're just gonna go with another unbreaking guy so that's two books and we also ended up getting let's go with another mending book all right so i'm gonna pay them one diamond but i'm gonna come back with the other diamond so let's go ahead and pay them and let's return our iron blocks all right, sorry guys, I'll come back. I do need the iron block, so I promise I will come back, but I kind of need this diamond a little bit more at the moment. And I'll still tip you guys, don't worry. All right, here we are guys, two paying back, and there we go, we're settled. All right, so I think that's gonna be the end of the video, guys, since the server's about to restart. I think in between episodes, I'm gonna go ahead and do some mining since nobody wants to see that, right? It gets all boring or whatnot, but yeah, this video might have been a little bit longer than normal, but uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited on this new series, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like, guys, and subscribe for more videos, and I guess I'll just catch you guys on the next one team rocket place out